Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today we will discuss in this lecture about properties of addition and subtraction of integers. Okay. So let me start with addition of two integer. What do you mean by addition of two integer? So let's say if you add two integer, say let's say is it is two plus three, we will get also another integer which will be five. So the result will always be an integer if we add two integers. Same is the case in with subtraction. So let me give you some more example on addition of integers. Let's say if I write 19 plus minus of 25. So what I would get is I can write this as 19 minus 25. So I will get minus of 6 because the negative sign and the value of minus 25 is less than 19. So when we add these two, so we will get 25 and 19. 25 minus 19 is 6 and the sign of 25 is minus so we will get minus 6 here now comes to subtraction of two integers okay so if i write 7 minus 9 you will always get an integer whether you subtract or add two integers so the result here will be minus of 2 as you know 7 9 minus 7 is 2 but the uh, sign of a larger integer is negative so the result will always be negative if I write minus 27 minus minus 30 okay so what you would get is minus 27 plus 13 negative negative plus so you will get as the answer as 3 because 30 minus 27 is 3 and the sign of 30 is positive so the result will be positive okay i hope students you are pretty clear about how to add or how to subtract two integers okay let me write some properties based on addition or subtraction okay so student first property is commutative property so what this property states that if you add a to b means b to a the result will always be same as b plus a means a plus b will always be equals to b plus a so let me give you one example if i add 3 to 5 I will get 8 or in the same way if you add 5 to 3 you will get the answer as same 8 so there is no difference whether you add B to A or you add A to B so this property states that A plus B will always be equals to B plus A so this is the commutative property so now comes to property number second which is associative property so associative property states that if you add a to b plus c the result will be same as a plus b plus c okay so let me give you one example on this let's say if i am adding 3 to 5 of 5 plus 3 already or 3 plus 5 to 3 so first i will solve the bracket so what i uh, get after solving the bracket would be 8 and the result on left hand side will be 11 now let's come to the right hand side so this will be 3 plus 5 again 8 plus 3 this would always be equal to left hand side so our property which states that a plus b plus c 
is equals to a plus b plus c so means after getting addition of these two numbers and if you add another number you will get the result as first a plus b then another third number c i hope students you are pretty clear about commutative property and associative property uh, let me clear all this first this is property 3 additive identity so what this property says if you add 0 to any number the number will result into same number let's say if I add 0 to a the result will be a always let me give you one example on this if I add 0 to minus 3 I will get the result as minus 3 itself so I hope students this property is very easy because whenever you add 0 to any number the number will remains the same so these are the three properties which we discussed now let us come to the question based on these properties okay let me write down one question first so students here are the question based on the property which we discussed just now so the first question states that minus 5 plus minus of 8 would be equals to minus 8 plus I hope you guys remember what I state in commutative property so this is the simplest example on this which states that a plus b will be equals to b plus a so a here is minus 5 b here is minus 8 and on the RHS b is minus 8 already given to us so what we have to write here is b plus a so the blank will be minus of 5 which is equals to a so I can write minus 8 plus means minus 5 plus minus 8 would be equals to minus 8 plus minus 5 this would be the value which comes in the blank so now comes to the part b which states that what should we add to minus 53 to get the remain answer as minus 53 this is the additive identity property which is we discussed just now so the answer here would be 0 we should always add 0 to get the number same as it is ok so students I hope you are pretty clear about all the three properties which I discussed in this lecture and if you still have any doubt or any query regarding this lecture please do comment in the comment section guys and also download the app of scholars learning from play store or app store if you have already did so please do share it among your friends Thank you students.